Next, we're going to talk about a configuration feature where we can tell the screaming frog spider to only crawl certain parts of our website or not crawl certain parts of our website or crawl certain parts of our website as long as certain conditions are met. Um, this is more useful, I think, in situations where you have a very large site and you want to review just small pieces of it at a time. Um, but let's go through how that works. So before we crawl the site, you know, we do have our domain typed in here. We're going to go to configuration and we'll start with an include. So this include, we're going to tell it, we just want to crawl a specific directory. So I've typed in our entire URL, including the what we do directory, which has a number of pages under it. And you'll see a little asterisk here. And in the course notes, there's a little more detail on how to sort of structure these out. Um, but uh, what we're going to basically tell to do is crawl everything within this folder. And I'm just going to say OK. And now I'm going to set the crawler loose. And what we're going to see in a minute is that the page which we started with will type up. And the only other pages that are going to appear here are those which fall within that what we do directory. So it did as we expected. We wanted to crawl just this particular directory and now we see all of the pages within it. Um, so if we wanted to sort of redo this and say, you know what, let's omit that directory. Um, we can go ahead and clear our results, go to configuration. We want to remove the include that we just added because it does remember. And now we're going to go to exclude. And this time we'll look at everything that's not in that directory. So we'll say OK. And now let's set the spider loose. And I won't wait for the whole thing to load, but um, what, what is important to note is that nothing in the what we do directory will appear in the results. OK. so. Um, we'll go ahead and remove that exclude and maybe a you know another more advanced feature might be let's include all content where the URL say contains the word search in it for example and it could be any word um, in this particular example we're just gonna use search but um, if it's a specific topic maybe you're a blogger and you've written about the New York Giants a number of times and you want to sort of review all that content you could pretty much crawl and do that as well so we can go include and this time our search is a little more broad where we're sort of got wild card sets where as long as somewhere in the URL we've got the word search um, we want to pull it in so I'm gonna go ahead and say okay I'm gonna set the crawler loose and as you'll see in some of the different URLs here we have the word search search and search so it's really up to your imagination with how to use this feature. But again, the idea here is that you're under configuration. You're going to use include or exclude rules to uh, determine, you know, sort of what content gets returned.